Does your dog seem like it has a whole lot of energy? Running around all day and barking without end can look cute, but it can be a problem for your dog in the long run. A hyperactive dog can develop behavioral problems later in life. The two most common ones are 1. Leash pulling. Though leashes are an acknowledged part of owning a pet nowadays, dogs are meant to roam around free. This is why they often try to pull away from the leash. The trouble is that it can potentially injure your dog. Constantly pulling at the leash can hurt them as the leash chafes their neck. The constant lunging can also hurt you as you get dragged behind your dog. Dogs like to bark, however, there can be too much barking. Waking up late at night to excessive barking will make anyone find it irritating. You will probably need to train excessive barking out of them if they ever get into the habit. Being calm means health for a dog. The main reason for why your dog is hyperactive is that it often has too much energy. A dog is an animal that needs something to do. This is especially so when they are young. They have a lot of energy that needs to go somewhere. If ignored, all that energy will come out in a burst which can be very exhausting in the long term. You are going to have to do your best to teach your pet to calm down for a bit. Calm your dog with these seven approaches. With the need to calm down your dog, you will want to learn how you can relax them. There are seven ways that you can try to help calm down your pet. Consider using one or more of them to lower your dog's energy levels and to stop them from misbehaving. 1. Regular exercise. The main reason why your pet is so hyperactive is that it has no outlet for all of the energy in its body. You are going to want to use up that energy. The best way to do that is to have them do exercises on a regular basis. If you do it daily, you will be able to tire them out. The level of exercises though is different for each dog. Note that dogs were primarily bred for a purpose and it is these purposes that they are intended for. A terrier will have a different requirement than a Saint Bernard. Be aware of this so that you can design a regimen that will tire them out just right. Another reason for your dog being excited is that they want to get some attention from you. You don't want to reward that sort of behavior. This sort of thing is what you often see in young puppies. They will often greet you with a hyperactive performance. The temptation to react with an enthusiastic hug is powerful, but you should teach them not to do this. Do it by ignoring them until they start to calm down. This should take a few minutes, but teaching them that being hyper will not get them anything is a good idea. It would make our day if you would subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss new videos and can learn more about dogs. 3. Games. Another way to use up the energy that your dog develops is to play games with them. Taking your dog out to the backyard and throwing around a ball for a game of fetch is a good idea. A game that can really use up a dog's energy is a tug of war. Just have a simple cloth rope to tug on and playfully tug with your dog. Note that you will have to make it clear that any bad behavior will be punished by the end of playtime. They will learn this lesson quickly. 4. Obedience training. Training a dog is another way to use up their energy. Teaching your pet obedience will also enable the pet to control them. You are going to want to teach them how to behave in any particular situation. Obedience training is actually a very useful tool in tiring a pet out. It doesn't just drain physical energy but mental energy as well since your pet is learning something. After a bout of obedience training, they'll want to rest, and in the future they will know how to behave properly. 5. Encourage good behavior. Pets are rather simple in their mindset and you can use that to your advantage. You will want to get your pets to behave better by rewarding them for it. If they behave in a hyperactive manner, you don't need to punish them. It's actually good if you take away a treat or privilege like walks if they are too hyper. On the other hand, you should be rewarding them if they behave in a calm manner. 6. Be calm. When a pet is hyperactive, there's a tendency for them to misbehave. That can lead you to getting angry. Your temper may rise, but try to keep it under control. Avoid shouting at your pet. 
deal with them in a calm reasonable manner. Pets emulate their masters so behaving like this ensures that they will copy you. Additionally, high energy situations just encourage your pet to be a lot more hyperactive. 7. Use lavender. One of the more useful herbs out there is lavender. Lavender oil can help people calm down thanks to its fragrance. It can be even more effective for dogs. Just use a dab of lavender oil and massage it on your pet. It is a good distraction and the fragrance is greatly relaxing. Your dog is always a bundle of energy. The goal is to direct that energy in the right direction. With the right training and approach, you can ensure that your dog will be calm when you need him to be. This should ensure his future health and your peace of mind. Thanks for watching the video. Do you want to be a good pack leader and stop your dog's behavioral problems for good? Check out the first link in the description and get your dog training video series absolutely free. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more dog-related content. See you next time.